The UFC just banned fighters from betting on any UFC fight. Now, alongside of this, teams are not allowed to bet on their fighters. So if your buddy's fighting on a card that you fight with, you train with them, you can't bet on them. Family members are now unable to bet on fighters. This was never like officially in the UFC code of conduct, but I guess it was in play by a lot of... Uh, different states it just wasn't officially enforced by the big dogs at the ufc it was kind of a gray area now you have a hard rule they're saying that criminal charges are possible for anybody who breaks these rules it's an odd situation because fighters that maybe are just big fans of mma now signed to the ufc have no longer even an ability to bet on fist fights in which they think one fighter might beat the other they're banned from that overall I guess I get it from the side of not being able to bet on your own team. You get to see them train. But in a sense, I don't. I don't know. I think the reason this went down is obviously the UFC is very connected with the MMA betting side, which is a huge part of the sport. And you've seen MMA betting blow up in recent years. I mean, we do predictions and betting breakdowns every week here. And that's what the channel was essentially built upon. And there's you know a lot of other channels out there also doing such a thing, MMA betting is huge. So now they're trying to really get in detail about what they want to allow and not allow. I'm going to read what Hunter Campbell sent to the athletes. He says, as you may already be aware, most states in which regulated sports betting is conducted prohibit athletes from wagering on promotions or events in which they are affiliated. I did not know this. I've seen fighters post in slips that they've bet on fights in the UFC. I know people bet on their buddies that are fighting, also fighters betting on fighters. Did not know this. Many states also extend this prohibition to athletes training teams, like we're just talking about. Family members. I hear fighters talking about my whole family's betting on me. I told them to bet the KO. I told them to bet this. You got CJ Vergara in his last fight. He said bet the over in, in his bio. You think the family's not also biting on to this? That's odd. And others who have access to any inside information relating to the athletes and their events. I don't know what is considered inside information. Is a reporter not allowed to bet on fights? Is a person that's seen them train? Is somebody even at the gym? Inside information to me is the biggest gray area of all time. That doesn't really explain anything. What is inside information? If I know a guy that trains at Jackson Wink and let's say that one of their guys, let's say it was John Jones in his prime, and I knew that he was fighting with a torn ACL, and I got a call, and it came to me. Can I get in trouble for that now? Not saying I did that, but I, I don't know. Is that now affect just somebody from the outside that's like far disconnected? Are they going to be trying to like dig into it? Inside information is a very gray area term. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I don't understand exactly what they mean. I'd like them to go in detail further. In some instances, violations of these prohibitions could result in criminal charges. So they're essentially saying, we'll throw you in a jail cell for breaking these rules, or at the very least, we'll find the fuck out of you. So that money you won, yeah, you're probably paying three, four, five times that. That's crazy. The criminal charges things is intense. I mean, it's one thing voiding the bets, take their money. They're not allowed to do it. Criminal charges, no warning either. And we don't even know what inside information is. So family members can't be betting. I know a lot of people are going to still try to. And now they can actually get in serious legal trouble for it. This is intense. The UFC's contracted, contracted athletes are not exempt from these prohibitions, which state legislators and regulators have implemented for the purpose of maintaining the integrity of our sport. Now, understand what they mean, integrity of our sport. They're not looking for fixed fights. But if fighters have a lot of knowledge, and plenty of them, I'd say the vast majority do, and they're able to turn that into a prediction and a bet on another fight, why would a fighter that's put in so much time to understand the combat not be allowed to place bets? So what they're trying to say is active fighters in the UFC, which I consider best fighters in the world for the vast majority, aren't allowed to touch the betting lines. They have to just look from afar. They can't play anything. They can't throw anything down. So it's more them saying they want guys that are definitely going to lose bets to be placing bets on fights. They don't want actual MMA opinion in the space of any kind. Obviously, they can't say that X-Fighter can't bet James Krause. He'll still be placing bets down. 
But if you're actively in the UFC and you have the knowledge and you want to place bets, and who knows how many guys are out there placing bets and cashing on the weekends that are big fans and fighters, no longer. That's wild. That's wild. They're going deep with this. In order to assist our athletes in understanding their obligations under the laws of the majority of the states in which sports betting is permitted, and in further support of these integrity measures, UFC has incorporated a wagering prohibition into the UFC Athlete Code of Conduct policy, express, expressly prohibiting, very much banned is what they're saying, athletes from wager, wagering on any UFC match. It's in the code of conduct. So now, if you are found to break this rule, at the very least, they'll they'll fine you. They'll maybe ban you. They'll do some. I guess they'll fine you first. You hopefully you don't get banned. They might be cutting fighters from the UFC if there's any betting involvement, especially guys that aren't towards the top. So this is pretty damn serious. I think this is a really big thing. We have also provided some additional information to assist athletes determining the potential scope of state-imposed wagering restrictions on others. No. This policy does not prohibit UFC athletes from entering sponsorships into agreements with sports betting companies. UFC athletes may continue to pursue such sponsorships in accordance with applicable law. Now, my question is this. Are they no longer even allowed to give their picks? Like, I guess that's still going to be possible. But with knowing they can't bet, I think that betting companies are going to be maybe losing money on putting it down on fighters to, you know, shout their bets out and then tell them, oh, I'll be betting on this, this, and that. If they know they're not actually throwing money down, it's kind of like there's no merit on what they're saying. They could pick Joe Schmo and the other one and not actually believe it. And people know that. So it's like the legitimacy of their opinion drops. We appreciate your dedication to our sport and your efforts to ensure its integrity. If any questions about the UFC athlete code of conduct, you may conduct me. Contact me, excuse me. That's crazy. This is huge. This is to all UFC athletes and managers. Restrictions relating to wagering by our athletes, members of their teams, and certain others. So essentially anyone with any connection to fighters is not allowed to bet on said fighters. It's unfortunate for the team members thing and the family members thing. I don't think that makes sense. Yes, banning the coach from betting on his fighter, I'm not going to complain too much about. I get that. Banning the fighter from betting on himself in a sense to avoid the risk of a fix, I get that. But if I'm a confident fighter and I've seen fighters post online that they bet on themselves, believe in yourself and they throw down, they have chances to make a little extra money if they're very confident in the matchup. Now you're banning them from doing such a thing. To me, I kind of take this as a violation of freedoms. If sports betting, which it definitely is, is becoming legal nationwide, everyone can do it. Now, if I'm a fighter, I don't have access to it and I get it. They're trying to make it a cleaner, more regulated sport. It's like if you're maybe like another sport betting on the same sport or game that you're involved in wouldn't be allowed, but MMA is not basketball. MMA is not football. MMA is not soccer. It's warfare in a cage. Who has the most? And there's a lot on the fucking line. I don't think a lot of fighters are going to be betting on their opponents and taking dives. It's extremely rare. I believe maybe one time ever there was a weird case in the UFC where it seemed like it may have been on the way of happening, but ultimately uh, we don't know for certain. And I haven't ever heard of it since. And that fighter is long gone from the UFC and I highly doubt it will be an issue. I think this kind of, in a sense, it limits financial gain. I think it hurts the sports betting sponsorships, but ultimately I think it's an impingement of the freedoms of the damn people. If I'm a fighter and I want to bet on another UFC fighter, I can't do that anymore. Maybe I like sports betting. Maybe I love placing bets on fights. Maybe I do it for a hobby. Maybe I'm a big UFC fan and I'm in the UFC. Not me, but some of the guys out there are. They're fucking fighters and they're huge fans. I'm the massive fan side, the analyst side, the breakdown side, the betting side. But if a fighter can't bet anymore, that's crazy. Impingement of rights. I don't like this at all. Let me know in the comments what you guys think because I personally am a little bit mind boggled by this. I don't know. To me, it's a little bit stepping on toes, kind of overstepping boundaries in my opinion. Now you're saying fighters can't bet on fights at all. If it was just, hey, you can't bet on the fight that you're involved in or the fight that your training partner is involved in, I won't complain as much. Even the training partner one, though, I don't like. I'd rather still see them betting on that. So you know what? You can't bet on yourself or you can't bet on your, your fighter that's fighting if you're the coach. Those two things. If they put that into play as the only issue, I'd be like, all right, I guess we can deal with that. But you're saying they can't bet, period. 
Team members can't bet. Family members can't bet. Inside information can't bet. And serious consequences, legal consequences, who knows what the actual punishment will be. And they got this gray area inside information. I want more details on this. I hope they come. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any strong opinions. I personally don't like this. It's I don't know. It's 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 a little bit worrisome. I think it's a little bit over controlling, overstepping the boundaries a bit and keeping the athletes held on to a little bit too tight. There needs to be a bit of the freedom of the fighter. Much love, my people. I hope you guys enjoyed this news reaction. It's pretty big news in my opinion. Smash the hell out of the like button. If you're new, subscribe. Turn those post notifications on and make sure to share the video as well. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace, everyone. Thank <laughs> you.